everybody. My name is Chad Roberts. Uh, we're back for Virtual Gen Con 2020 with Elijah Longwell from Tuesday Night Games. And we're here going to be talking about Mothership RPG. And the Ennies was last night, Elijah. Yep. You brought home some more awards, I think. Uh, uh, it was like one or two, right? Uh, yeah, so we won um, the uh, uh, best adventure for a pound of flesh, and then mm -hmm. also best uh, layout and design for a pound of flesh. So the yeah, flesh. adventure was yeah. the gold, and uh, layout and design we got silver for. So we're we're super proud of that. Yeah, and that brings your total is like getting on up there now for for this product <laughs> line. This product line is what three, four years old. Um, uh, it depends on how you define it, but uh, <laughs> Sean had, Sean made it as a pocket mod years ago um but officially we released it two years ago at gen con two years ago yeah, um, because... yeah. And, so it's uh, still pretty new yeah and so for those people out there and by the way we're going to be talking about mothership the rpg as a whole and then we can go through the individual things um and uh for those who are not uh are not aware of mothership or even Tuesday Night's presence as an RPG publisher outside of the board game universe. Do you want to talk about that for a moment? And then, uh, yeah. And I've actually got some, you sent me over some art assets, yeah. and I'll bring that up. And then as you're going through that talk, and I'll bring up some art assets, and we'll go through there so people can get, get an idea of what what they're, what they're what some of the art that you're using for. Definitely. So uh, Mothership RPG uh, is a sci-fi horror RPG. Uh, it's lightweight, small. This might look like it's like... You know, just a trimmed down version. This is the core rule book. This is a player survival guide. Um, and so with Mothership, we want to do a, a handful of different things. So uh, for one, we want to make sure that it's easy to pick up and jump into really quickly. So um, yeah, right there, you can see the uh, the character sheet. It's literally a flow chart. It walks you through everything. Most of what you need to know to play the game, honestly, is on that sheet. Um, so it's very simple. Uh, it's a, a, a D100 uh, percentile system. Um, and so you're going to be trying to roll under whatever your stats are for given things. But we take a lot of inspiration from older, you know, OSR uh, style games um, mm -hmm. in that we really focus on kind of the story interactions with different players. And so um, it's it that might look like a lot at first glance but once you see once you kind of know what's going on it's actually really simple and laid out um you know easily to uh, uh in a way that's very easy to to kind of figure out exactly what you need right away right. um but yeah we we lean more on um the interactions with players and less about the stats and the numbers and those are mm -hmm. those are more of a tool for really cool interactions um for us but um you know if you like uh, classic sci-fi horror, you know, things like The Thing, uh, Alien, uh, classic stuff that just like fills, it just fills with dread, even though it's, you know, 20, 30 years old. Um, those great movies, that's really where we get a lot of inspiration um, for Mothership. Um, and you'll see that play out throughout the different modules. Um, we have um, the Player's Handbook, which is uh, the core rulebook. It's all you need to know. Uh, the PDF's actually free online and on drive through So if you want to give it a shot and just see what's about. Player the handbook price is free. Yeah, totally free. And the print version is fifteen bucks on our website, but um, yeah, no cost to admission, which is is huge for us. Um, but all of our books kind of fill that same, um, have a similar kind of theme going for them. In that they're very small, they're very straightforward, but they're packed full of information. Um, so another thing that's really important to us with uh, with Mothership is that it's really easy for the GM to jump in and, uh, and play and run. Um, same thing for, the, for your player characters. They don't have to spend an hour or two reading a book before they jump in. They can just jump in, uh, and the, uh, the warden, our, our GM, um, can do the same. Um, but yeah, it's, is there anything, what, what specifically jumps out to you, Chad? What, what, I know you've played it. So, what do you enjoy about it? Yeah, and I've, and I've gone through this. So what hits me is, you know, there are a lot of black, like, uh, th well, there's not a ton of them, but there's a couple of sci-fi uh, horror RPGs out there. So what gets me is a lot of this is the art. Uh, is that you look at? It's a very retro style art. It's very unique out there. Uh, but as you said, this is not a grindy number RPG. It's at least I don't think it is. I've seen grindier. Um, uh, I've, and it's just the art in it. I really like. Um, I like the second book. Where it's a dead planet. planet. It's mm -hmm. got a. It's got the generator for like if you wanted to just do a one-off. I mean, this is a me thing. 
there is a, a generator for making your own compounds. I've always thought that was unique. Um, you don't see that in a lot of RPGs. Yes. Yeah, so, well, with that, actually, I think I sent over a picture of that that uh, the ship generator. Um, yeah. And that is actually a really good highlight of part of the philosophy we have with um, uh, creating these books. So uh, Sean McCoy, who does, um, uh, he runs. Yeah, I'll share that real quick. Yeah, so he, he is the mothership guy. Um, he um, he does a huge. Uh, he he takes a, a lot of uh, time and effort to really make sure everything is laid out in a way that it's easy to get to and works as uh, a tool for the GM and not just just some content to look at. Uh, mm -hmm. So like with that derelict ship generator, um, it should be the other one there. Is that the other one? Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so like the this right here is about to pull up. This is a, a derelict ship generator, and oh, there we the, go. Yeah, the oh, idea cool. here is that it is a uh, a tool for you to pull out in any situation. So you can use this uh, at the table during Dead Planet. There's a, a specific time you can use it in the book, um, and you can see there's a bunch of dice there. Uh, it's a cool tool where you can just take a handful of d6s and roll. Uh, different uh, sections of a of a derelict uh, ship that your uh, your crews come upon, um, and see what it is on the chart there. And literally, you can make sort of a, a ship dungeon encounter just by rolling some dice right there. So we try to do that with all of our our different modules to uh, you, to to make them something you always want to have at the table because there's useful information there. So yeah. you know you maybe you've played through this, but then a year later you have the perfect situation for. Uh, to use this to make a, a ship dungeon, and bam, you can just pull this out, and use it. We try to pack right. these full of that. And I've used this for like one-offs, uh, and then again, I'm feel like I'm doing. It. I'm instead of asking the question, uh, uh, somebody said, "Oh, that's in chat." Uh, it says that looks awesome. Yep, yep, it does. Um, I've used this as just like a one-off, like you know, if you don't want to do a campaign, you just mm -hmm. want to have like a, a quote-unquote beer and pretzels night or something like that. You can just whip this out in a few minutes instead of yeah. doing like hours of prep or whatever and just, hey, we're going to goof around and do this. Maybe it's full of monsters. Maybe it's full of rabid kittens. Who knows? You know, whatever. Yeah, you know. definitely. And, and like I said, all of our books have that. So, you know, with A Pound of Flesh, uh, we have something, you know, kind of similar but different for a space station generator. Mm -hmm. uh, and A Pound of Flesh is built around the Prospero's Dream, which is this huge space station that is kind of just got everything. But um, there's a module in there for space station generation uh, that actually uses a Mad Libs to build your space station. So, uh, so we try to do things that are different and creative, but again, can you pull that in any situation and utilize uh, just to you know, make a better session for your players? And the, uh, the price on these books are not incredibly expensive. Yeah. For, the, compared uh, to, for the art assets you get in it, for the work that you put in, for the amount of... Uh, for the amount of work that goes in them, I mean, the price is that, I don't know if it's because it's a smaller form factor or whatever it is, but these are very expensive. Like, uh, what, what is it, what is your, you just had a Kickstarter mm -hmm. for the newest one, right? Yep, for uh, yeah. Gradient Ascent. I got a, a preview copy here, actually. First one. Oh, um, so uh, it is, all of our books are, um, are $15. Mm -hmm. um, so we try to stay pretty consistent with that. Um, and it's funny, each one has actually gotten a little bigger every time. So when I got this one in, I was like, oh man, it's, I can, I can feel it. They're, they're growing. They're getting, you mm -hmm. know, more and more packed. Um, but yeah, we, we want to make them affordable and easy to pick up. Uh, you know, you can go on our website and buy everything Mothership for, you know, under a hundred dollars. Um, and that's, you know, enough content for years and years of, of playing, honestly, for, for most people. Uh, whereas with a lot of other big RPGs, just to get started and get, you know, a, a few core books, you might be paying $100, $150 for, you know, granted, nice hardback books, but um, but we want to make that barrier to entry as low as possible. Um, and, you know, that's part of, as well, making sure the uh, the, the core rule book, the Player Survival Guide, is, uh, the PDF at least, is free. So anybody can jump in and make their own content and get rolling. Yeah, and uh, plus carrying around, you know, everything in that game universe in one hand versus, mm -hmm. you know, and you're spending that less and versus, you know, the comparable amount of content and you just give yourself a hernia carrying around all the books, you know. Exactly, yeah. For that as well. Uh, but yeah, you mentioned a second ago uh, Gradient Descent, which yeah. um, I'd love to go over for a second. 
Sure. Uh, so this is I our. I, some, I think you sent me some art on there. Yeah, I should have. There should be a couple spreads of that too. Um, this is our fourth book, uh, our third full length module, um, if you don't count the uh, the, the core rule book. Um, and um, we are super proud of this one. Uh, we kickstarted it um, last year um, and it is going to be shipping. Uh, or we're about to send it to the printer and we're go. finishing up. I just up. brought up some art here. If Derek would awesome. like to share that, it'd be awesome. We're finishing up some final edits, um, but it'll be to the printer soon and hopefully be shipping in the next um, uh, month or so, or within so August. tell us hopefully. the premise of Gradient Descent for those uh, who may have missed the Kickstarter or not aware of what this brings to the table. Yeah, so Gradient Descent is inspired by classic Mega Dungeons. So, um, oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, so um, you'll you kind of notice here. There's a lot of information, right? Um, and so, yep, there's there's part of the map right there. Yeah, it's it again. We we fit, try to fit a lot of information in oh. here. Um, but that is that is the dungeon. That is the entire map right there. First page of the book. Um, and the idea here is that um, you are um, you've discovered a um, a factory. Um, the cloud bank synthetics production fa factory, um, and you don't really know what's going on with it. Um, but there are um, there, there are instructions for anyone who comes and goes to uh, or to be killed immediately. So it's super, uh, and nobody really knows what's going on down there. It's a big mystery, um, and uh, it's called the deep. Um, and so. People are, uh, anyone who goes into the deep, scavengers who are looking for any kind of uh, loot or anything uh, anything to find they can take, uh, those are divers. And they are uh, generally going in to try to find that stuff and get out uh, and, and make some quick money. But um, there, there's some really cool stuff in, in the module where, you know, this was a, an Android um, factory, basically. And so um, the, the more these divers go into the factory, the more time they spend, um, the more likely they are to fall prey to what we call the bins, um, which is um, a condition that um, as they find, as they get farther and farther in, they start to not be able to tell if they are a, uh, an android or a human anymore. Um, and so there's some really cool stuff that you'll be able to do with your players there as they get in uh, to kind of uh, try to, to feed that stuff into it. Um, and I, you know, I don't want to spoil too much, um, yeah. but um, but if you can see this here. Game, leave the stream now. <laughs> you you can see here. Um, each of these pages breaks down um, kind of a different floor of the building, mm -hmm. um, and so um, you can see each room there is broken down into the sewer main, the drain, mm -hmm. uh, the gutter, and uh, we kind of wanted to, to build this as almost like a um, it can be run almost like a point and click adventure. So you mm -hmm. can see. Um, you know, if you look under like the gutter, you can see all the kind of drop down arrows. And so, um, you know, that gives you an easy description of, of that area, but also um, has different things that uh, you, see, you can see are highlighted in red um, that stand out just to make it easy to find what you need. Um, uh, each room has things that, um, you know, like on the drain there, you can see the childish mur murals. Um, and so those are things that are highlighted in those areas that your players can explore that you can kind of um, prompt them for a little bit, gives them some some heads up, and um, and as they're exploring, um, there's tons of stuff to pull from that. So this book is just packed full of uh, information, different rooms, different enemies, different encounters. Uh, it is a lot, and like I said, it's you know it's uh, we're at 59 pages now, um, not covering the not covering the back, which is a, a full chart on its own, and each page is is cram packed uh, full yeah. of of awesome material. So and this was. This was the last Kickstarter. Are you still taking late pledges for this? Um, we have pre-orders open on our website. Okay. Um, so uh, shop.tuesdaynightgames.com. Um, so you can pre-order it there. Gotcha. Gotcha. I'm super excited. I backed this like on day one. So I'm I'm all in. So yeah. Um, so there was a question from the chat. And let me just bounce over here. Our wonderful assistant, Eric Martin, is asking from a question from Tabletop Bellhop. Question. Have you considered doing a deluxe hardcover, perhaps spanning multiple books for those of us who like heirloom RPG products? So maybe like an omnibus or something yeah. like that. 
Um, you know, we get that question a lot, actually. Um, and it's not something that we haven't heard feedback from and aren't thinking about it at all. Um, you know, we have a lot of plans for Mothership. Uh, you know, like we mentioned, it's only a couple of years. Uh, we're only a couple of years into uh, into this game. Um, and we have so much. If you saw our Trello board of all the different modules and uh, pamphlet adventures and projects we have going for it, um, we have no plans on, on slowing down here. Um, that being said, um, it's right now we're in a really good place with um, with kind of the way our modules are set up to be affordable and to really uh, make it easy to get people to get into the game and play. Right. Um, and so, you know, that's something that we would love to do in the future when the time is right. Um, it might not be right away, but, um, you know, I would, uh, as long as y'all keep supporting us, um, you know, who knows what the future will hold. So, uh, can we talk about uh, people, you can pre-order pretty ingredient descent. Can you talk a little bit about what maybe we'll be looking forward towards the end of the year, maybe, or mm -hmm. if there's any products out there, or like maybe Q1 of next year? So what's coming up uh, uh, for in this, in the Mothership line? What, what, what do we yeah. look forward to? So there's actually one other book right now that we are getting ready to ship, uh, and it should be hitting our warehouses in... Um, uh, supposed to be here this week. I think it got delayed till Monday, though, and that is Dissonant Whispers. This is obviously much bigger uh, compared to our normal books, um, but this was a um, a book we just did uh, in partnership with um, uh, RPG or Black Life Matters and the Whisper Collective, um, and uh, the, uh, the premise here is this book was brought together in 10 days um, by uh, uh, 50 plus creators, um, and it spans a lot of different uh, systems. It's not just Mothership. We actually have, um, eh, goodness, there's so many. It's actually broken down by system. Um, so we have Mothership, we have uh, Morkborg, um, Electric Bas Bastionland, DCC, Troika, Black Hat, UVG, UVG um, all kinds of stuff here. And uh, these were different two-page modules. Uh, so I don't have any, I don't think I sent, any, sent over any as assets for you here, but there are different two-page mo modules for uh, for these different games. Um, and they, uh, they're, honestly, they're just great. Uh, they are, you know, the layout is wonderful. Uh, it's a huge, chunky book. Um, but, you know, most importantly, all the profits are going to the National Bail Fund um, in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. So and we're really- has always been really great about doing things, you know, uh, for great causes, and that is just phenomenal. Yeah, we're really excited about this. Um, you know, it's not a normal first-party Mothership product, so to speak, but um, but it's something that, you know, we're really proud of, um, and we're excited to have a lot of Mothership in here as well. For so people that, that are interested in that product, where can they go and find that? Um, you can get that as well on our website, so shop.tuesdaynetgames.com. The pre-orders are up there, and like I said, they should be shipping out. Um, we should be getting them in next week, um, and they'll be shipping out early. Uh, hopefully, early next yeah. week. Hey, um, a question arose hmm. from W. Eric Martin from the chat. Uh, a person named Armchair Pimp. <laughs> uh, any news on Mothership Chrome? Um, so I think they're talking about the module from the people over at Roll, who um, the uh, digital tabletop. Uh, system that just did a Kickstarter a few, a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, that is pretty much that's all their their project. That's their their um, third party module. Uh, we actually have a lot of third party creators now. Um, I've got a couple um, that I have gotten so far that are awesome. Uh, we got a couple of these on our website too. Um, but I don't particularly have any updates. I would check with them directly uh, over yeah. at Roll. Um, and so I've got the copy of Hi the first issue of Hive Mind. Mm -hmm. How's that coming along? Oh yeah, so we um, so we did Hive Mind last year as kind of an experiment um, for the first time, and it is a uh, just a, a book of um, of D10 charts. So anything, Which is pretty neat. yeah, it, these are things you can just throw into any game. Um, you know, you've got mild inconveniences, um, awkward situations you find yourself in when the gravity oh. re when the gravity returns, um, space drugs. Uh, my favorite is what is this mysterious ooze. Um, so all kinds of, you know, goofy and some serious things. Um, so that is actually pulled from our Discord. So um, 
on our site, there's a link if you want to join and then learn some more uh, and talk with other people that are really um, interested in mothership. Um, the uh, we have a channel called Hive Mind where people somebody will post a a random prompt uh, that they've come up with, and then each person will respond with one possible roll. When it hits ten, a new one starts. Uh, and so this was a collection we did oops, that we did last year again as a trial. It's got about forty different um, of those D10 charts in it. Um, and it was a promo with any purchase at all our conventions last year. We had a second one that was in the works for conventions this year. Um, unfortunately, that um, didn't quite work out this year. Um, but maybe just be a PDF or something. Yeah. So we're not. We're kind of figuring out what we want to do with that. Um, I know eventually that we'll we'll get we'll get it out there. Um, but the, you know, it's really important to us. We don't sell these since these are user created. It's all user created content. We don't want to make a profit off of. Um, off of people that are just sharing, you know, fun information online. Um, so uh, yeah, so they are just promos. Um, we get a lot of requests to uh, for people to be able to buy them. Unfortunately, that isn't something we really feel super comfortable for. Uh, but you know, we're we're trying to find other ways to get more in the hands of people. But Hive Mind, the first edition uh, at least, is available for free as PDF already. Um, and when we have the second one. Um, we will um, we'll have that out as a PDF as well. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Another question from chat. You mentioned third-party products. Mm -hmm. Is Mothership released under an OGL or uh, Creative Commons license? So we, we're looking at, at finding kind of what that looks like for us. Again, we're still pretty new, so we're kind of working through a lot of those, those kind of things. Um, but we do have a third-party license that we have uh, that we've created um, for people that want to get out there and, and create their own official content and they can sell it. You know, we're not taking any money from them um, as long as, you know, that just goes through an approval process and as long as it gets the stamp of approval, um, which, um, you know, we've had a lot of great books come through that way already. Mm -hmm. uh, then, you know, they can go and, and get them out there and, and, and you know, sell them however they want or give them away for free or whatever. Um, and the, there's a couple that we have a couple for sale on our website right now and we're working to get more. Uh, if you go to mothershiprpg.com, um, there's a, a list of some of the third party mod modules there as well. Um, and then on Drive Through RPG, um, we, we actually just got our official mothership um, section like tag. So you can you can filter by mothership awesome. now. Uh, so you can see some on there as well. But yeah, we've We've had a lot of uh, awesome people come through and create stuff. We've had a lot more on the list. I think there's, I don't know, eight or, eight or nine, maybe ten, like actual modules, um, like some, like these right here, um, that are already out. Um, and you know, we have a list of other people that have applied that are that are working on theirs right now. So, um, yeah, there's no shortage of, of of content to run out there. Awesome. Well, Elijah, I am so happy you're here, you've been here and you you. You've been on before. You're a friend of the show. Uh, hopefully next year we can do this again in person. Yeah. Uh, that would be fantastic. And for uh, and just wrapping up, uh, this is Elijah Longwell with Tuesday yeah. Night Games, and they can find more about. And once again, they can find out more at. Uh, so TuesdayNightGames.com, MothershipRPG.com. You can find us on Drive Through. Uh, soon you'll find us on Roll Twenty. Very very soon. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, uh, and yeah, um, of course, Facebook and, and Twitter and Instagram at uh, Play TKG or Mothership RPG. Yep. And it's always good to have another Nashvilleian on. So, yeah. Glad to be here. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So, thank you, Elijah. And uh, on behalf of Elijah and myself uh, and all of us at RPG Geek, hope everybody has a happy uh, virtual Gen Con 2020. Elijah, you want to say goodbye? See y'all later. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you.